guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done for my core after having a baby to try to heal my muscles and get them back in working condition. Pregnancy is no joke and it does a lot of things to your body. It does many things. I really hope that you guys like this one and if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go. Let's go do some things. I also wanted to quickly add that these are some of the things I was doing approximately three days after having a baby. I did have a normal delivery and I think it is super important to listen to yourself so if anything feels not right stop what you're doing wait for your body to heal before you jump back into things. That being said, this first one, I'm just drawing my abdomen in with every breath. So I'm literally lying on the ground, breathing, thinking about pulling my belly button toward my spine. I also found it super helpful to sort of visualize pulling my abs back together. This may feel super weird at first, but just give it a little bit of time and your body will start to return to normal. I promise you, I promise. This next one is super similar, but here I'm actually activating my pelvic floor. You can activate your pelvic floor on its own, but here I'm activating both my core and my pelvic floor at the same time. So I'm activating my core by bringing my belly button toward my spine, and then I'm pulling up and in through my pelvic floor and holding that. After having a baby, your pelvic floor is going to be very weak, so it is super important to focus on healing it before you jump back into your normal stomping around exercises. After you draw your pelvic floor in and up, try to hold for approximately 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly release and then repeat this exercise as many times as you feel comfortable doing so. These next ones are called leg fallouts. Leg fallouts. That's what we're calling them. Start with your knees in a bent position while laying on your back and simply let one leg fall out to the side and then slowly bring it back towards the center. You want to make sure that your core is activated during this exercise. So remember to try and pull that belly button toward your spine and then allow the leg to fall and bring it back toward the middle. Also, is no one going to talk about how weird it is to finally lay on your back after giving birth and feel normal? Very weird sensation. This next one was fun for me because it actually felt like a real exercise. So here I am bringing my knees up into the air and I'm simply bringing one foot down and tapping my toe to the ground and alternating. Again, you want to make sure that your core is activated and that you're breathing through each and every single one of these movements. If you are experiencing any pain while doing these or feel uncomfortable at all, just stop what you're doing and give your body more time to heal. If you're like me, then you most likely want to jump right back into things, but just trust me when I say to give your body that time it needs to heal. This next one is called a heel slide. So again, I'm activating my core first before I'm starting any sort of movement at all. My knees are bent as I lay on my back and I just extend one leg out and then bring it back to center. I extend the other leg out and bring it back to center. What I really loved most about all of these exercises so far is that you can do them while you're laying in bed. It's super convenient, especially because I know that you'll have little time in between running around, trying to feed your baby, change them, do all of the things. Last but not least, here I am doing a cat cow. I love this one because it is such a gentle stretch for your stomach. I was afraid to stretch my stomach at first, but I love this one because you can take it at your own pace. As I begin to round my spine, I draw my core in, pulling my belly button toward my spine and focusing on bringing my core back together and healing those muscles. In addition to doing these exercises, I highly recommend going outside for a walk because it can be so helpful in so many different ways. And I know that during that first month you will be so exhausted, but just trust me when I say get outside and go for a walk. It's amazing. Again, please, please, please do not rush into anything. Take your time. Give yourself time to heal, and you will feel amazing very soon. I promise you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this one, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you haven't already done that. And I will catch you guys next time.